Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another movie review, and this time I'm reviewing Molly's Game. Now, I found this movie at the library when I was there walking around looking for something different to watch or read, and I stumbled across this. It's got Jessica Chesney, and I believe she was the woman from um, The Help that I know her from. It's got Idris Elba and Kevin Costner. Sorry about the glare, but the lighting in my house is crazy, and it sucks. So, that is what we're dealing with. Okay, I tried with the lighting, but it's just not. It's going to have a glare because the cover is really dark. Anyway, so, it's got Jessica Chin Chinsley, Ches I said her name wrong, Idris Alba, and then Kevin Costner. Which, I've seen movies that all three actors have been in, and I've liked them. So, this movie is about an ex-Olympic skier named Molly. She gets injured, and... It was like a one in a million shot that she got her. Like she was on her way to being on an Olympic team, getting that gold. She was it. Now, Kevin Costner plays her father, coach, very demanding. They have a very rocky father daughter relationship. It's very tempestuous. So she, um, after she gets hurt and, you know, gets her stuff put back together, she decides she's moving away from home. And she goes to LA, I believe. And, um, you know, starts working at a bar, serving drinks, getting people to buy bottles. If you know the club scene, then you know, you know. And then, somehow, she ends up working for this really guy who ends up being a douche. He's a douche. That's all I can say. And he has her set up a weekly poker game. Well, she's in charge of it. Everyone, you know, she's getting messages back and forth. She's sending the emails. Well, he's like you know what, you're not going to be my assistant anymore. You can just make money from your your running the program. And she's like, but I work as your assistant, and then I'm going to call 24 hours a day. And he's like, deal with it. Well, obviously, she didn't want to deal with it too much, so she ended up making her own program game, and everyone was in on it. They were like, yes, 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 because she had it set in style, VIP, food. It was it was nice. Like, I would go to this program game. I don't care, and I can see why people stayed there. Well, she's very professional. Like, guys are like, we know we care about you, da 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 we love you. And she's like, no, it's not going to happen. She was nice when people ripped her off. She was like, look, if this was anybody else, um, you'd be hurt. Just bring me some players, pay off your debt. I mean, she's lost some money. Well, her old boss and her, her kind of, co-boss, co-founder of the casino both got pissed off at her and the new guy kind of stole the game from her. Everyone went back to her old boss's game. So she ended up going to New York and this chick set up a huge gambling thing where everyone wanted to get in. She was smart about it and everything. Well, she got popped by the FBI. So they took all her money was trying to get her to give them information on like the client she had at the um, poker games because it somehow got involved that she ended up having like Russian mobsters and everything and she wasn't she didn't do that because she was kind of because she was staying up she started you know using drugs or whatever so she wasn't vetting everybody the way she should have so she's got to go to trial for this and I will tell you I like this movie. I didn't think I was going to like it but I gave it a chance and I'm glad I did I liked it I liked how they went from telling the story from present day to showing you glimpses of the past. I love her repartee, as you call, the yin and yang back and forth between her and her lawyer. I like how she honestly, when her lawyer was like, do you think I'm too hard on my daughter? And she was like, no, because I know a girl, a guy, this situation, and she spent some time with this man for Chanel bag be hard on her, make her smarter, which is what her father did. And I will say, I'll say this, as a mom, I'm hard on my kids, not as hard as maybe I should be, but I believe hard enough that they will thrive. Now, nothing's guaranteed, because I know parents that were hard on their kids, and their kids are absolutely messed. They just completely rebelled. So I think you have to find a good balance in that. And I do love the fact that even though her father and her were not close, when she really needed him, even though she was like, I don't want you here, he showed up. It was so cute the way he showed up to, 
she finally went to the ice skating rink or whatever and she was skating and her dad was just like bend your knee and she fell and she's like how you know i was here and she goes i'm a psychiatrist i'm a doctor of the mind like what do you think i love how they hashed everything out i mean this is not gonna be perfect but i do wonder because the movie ended you know with a sort of happy ending but i kind of wonder what happened to her after this i'm sure she made some money off this movie she also wrote a book which I'm trying to think if I should actually read that book. But if you're looking for something completely different, kind of like a documentary slash movie, because it's not really a documentary, a docker movie, yeah, that's what I call it, a docker movie, which is probably loosely based on a true story because it says it's based on a true story. I would give this a try. It was entertaining. It was, I believe it's almost about a little over two hours, so it is kind of long. But, I mean... It was good. It entertained me. I would definitely watch it again. If I didn't have anything and this was in my movie collection, I would pop it in. I think this is the movie I would pop in when I'm doing laundry. Folding clothes, putting them away. Because it can keep me enough entertained that I can still watch it, but I can do certain things. But that's just me being in mom mode, wife mode. Anyway, but that is me babbling enough about this movie. I would say if you see it anywhere, pick it up. If you have a local library... And you don't want to buy this and you don't find it on Netflix or anything, go see if your local library has it because that's where I found my copy. I didn't even know this movie existed. So libraries have instant treasures, has hitting treasures. Yard sale season's coming, so you may find it there too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone's having a good morning, afternoon, even. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment below. And if there's any movies you want me to review, let me know. Bye.